Well, to, uh, hello to everyone. Today I would like to present you a really well made VCR. This is an RCA small number. Forget. Yeah. Focus camera. VPT 3. 395 so it's VP it's VPT 395 and it's pretty old and I'm guessing this VCR was somewhere manufactured around 1985 or 1986 I don't know the manufacturing date on these I'm looking for the uh, currently looking for the date most of the time it's written on something right here is not a date And this capstan, the pinch roller is really, really dirty. I'm going to um, clean it right after I review this. And actually, before before I hook up my hook it up to a TV, see how the video quality works. So when I got this VCR, I discovered a few issues with it. One of the two two belts down here need to be replaced. The caps, the idler belt, no, the two capstan belts right there. That one was slipping, that one couldn't fast forward or rewind. So I replaced that and now it's working fine now. The flat belt doesn't really get worn out, but that's like a rare occurrence. Most of the time, these belts over here get worn out in these Hitachi made VCRs. Yep, you heard me, it's made by Hitachi. So, the, again, these are really well made. I still cannot find a date. Is that it? Yeah, I think I found a date. It's right on the heads. I'm guessing it's somewhere between in February fourth, eight nineteen eighty seven, or April second, nineteen eighty seven. So this VCR was made in nineteen eighty seven. It's confirmed. Mostly, these two loading motor belts get worn out. I don't know what's really the purpose of having an extra belt, man. I mean, couldn't j at least just this belt here could be like linked to an to the um, worm gear over there? Well, who cares? And there was also a major belt problem over here too. The capstan, the, the counter belt, only in old VCRs, not all of them, but some of them, was really gooey. You can see. It's on the t you can see this. You can see I try to clean that. That's disgusting. So I replaced it with the rubber band. S since this both substance is on it, it might just work just fine now. So now, so in older VCRs, sometimes there's a the capstan motor is actually over there and not built into the capstan, and it drives. Here's the other side of it, this flat, this this capstan, this is the capstan flywheel. It actually, um, this is actually to turn to capstan, as you can see. So right now, actually, I'm gonna go clean this because I really do not want to operate this while the tape is in there because I don't know what could happen. So I'll be right back. All right, so I cleaned the VCR up a, a bit and it didn't do much as you can see, but. It did pretty good. Clean the heads. Haven't tested the quality yet, but let's get back onto the discussion. So this VCR has two separator mo loading motors. This one, you can't really see it, but that one's for the uh, cassette carriage, driven by a worm gear, and everything else is driven with belts. You can see there's some grease on that. And here's the main loading motor, as you can see. I already showed you, but this one uses two belts. Sometimes, most of the time it fails to start up when it goes into play. But, um, I have, I have to turn it just a little bit, or maybe do it again on, off, on and off. So, yeah.
So, let's insert a tape. See, it just... Now it's playing. Let's forward search. You can hear the cap symbol they're running. You want to search? Well, I don't know if I can change the belt on that. I don't think it can. It fails sometimes. I mean, the belt doesn't even look that. Doesn't even look like it's slipping too much. Here's the tape stabilizer. You raise head. Pinch roller. It's pretty, it's just a regular generic tape path. Loads really gently and I'll press stop. Now we'll fast forward. Well, you know this is an 80s VCR so it's gonna be really slow. Now let's try rewind. Hey, it went into rewind successfully. So that's how it rewinds. I'm gonna let it auto stop. Now, I'm gonna eject. Oh, by the way, let's see this mechanism in action first. Oops, we're in the play, let me eject. Mother's doing it again. Now. Alright, so I'm gonna take a look at this more and then I can sh try and show you the video quality if the heads are fine so I'll be right back alright so I just replaced the belt for the loading mode and that was a problem so now I can try and fold so I can do reverse search now there we go and I already showed you the other function now I'm going to hook this up to my TV now let, hold on, let's pause I can show you here. Oh, pause plus play, which is slow motion, which is pretty cool. Press play again to go into regular play. Here is a real time counter. Clock will be here. And it's stereo. Not hi fi stereo, but linear stereo. Here's, the, here's an equalizer. That is pretty interesting. That's what I like about these Hitachi made VCRs. Hitachi always made really nice VCRs. I mean, they always did. They're like they're like one of the number. They're like the number one most durable VCRs back in the 80s, right next to JVC and Panasonic. So yeah. All right. So I I forgot. To, let me show you the bomb sight in action. So here is. One of the real pulleys. Here's the idler pulley. This is the idler pulley. Two idler pulleys. And here's the new belt for the capstan. No, not for the capstan. For the idler. Here's the flat belt. You can see it's turning on this flywheel. Looking really good. And here's the bomb. Here's the head drum motor. Which is spinning. And here's some grease on the loading motor, and I had and I had to replace this belt right here. Here's the original. Doesn't t look too worn out, but I could still use this in a future VCI if it's if one of the belts are worn out. This still can be used. It's not it's not too worn out. I can still use this. 
Okay, now I'll forward search from down there. As you can see, reverse search. Working fine, no problems. Now we'll fast forward. Alright, that's working good. Rewind. Here's the counter. Let's see the loading motor mechanism. Forgot to show you that. This belt looks a little loose, but it still has a good amount of tension on there, so that does not need to be placed at the we not that does not need to be replaced at the moment. <sighs> you might guys think that hey, this VCL looks really complicated to fix these belts on. Not really. This is what you have to do. You have to carefully unscrew unscrew the motor assembly. It's held by this one screw. Then you carefully pull the motor out. Then you um have to uh, then you'll get you'll get this area of the belt. You'll get this, so it's not attached to the worm gear, so you don't need to worry about that. So then you're ready to replace. And all you have to do is to place this these belts here. You have to slide them in down there like this. Then bam, you rep then that's how you replace them. Pretty. Looks hard, but it's pretty simple. Now, I used to have like an IC VCR that I thought I could repair, but every single belt, except for the counter belt, like I just replaced, was all goo. It was slightly different. Instead of an idler gear, like like here, it was an idler tire. And I couldn't fix it, but. Thank God I have a new another VCR with, like with this with a ex identical mechanism. Now I can test these 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 mechanisms are quite kind of interesting. The top's pretty generic, but you know the bottom is pretty was is the most interesting part. I'm keeping this. Now I'm going to hook this up to my TV and I'll be right back. All right, so I hooked it up to my TV, but there's no display to be seen. That's because this VCR has no on-screen display. Some 80s VCRs do have it, and some 80s VCRs don't. So this one doesn't have it. This is linear stereo. But now I'm going to play. That's all comes up. It just shows us the play and the counter right there. And the picture is pretty good for a two-head VCR. It's two-head stereo. And it's working fine. It's, sorry about the skipping. It's not my VCR. It's just uh, um, that's how the tape was recorded. It was recorded from a burned disc that I, you know. And my, the disc skipped. So, yeah. Now I'm going to eject the tape. Now it works perfectly with no problems. I haven't tested recording out, but I, might, I think it might work. So... This is basically the first ever Hitachi VCR, or Hitachi May VCR, that most of the time when I get an old Hitachi VCR, like from the early 90s, the heads are always worn out. But on this one, from 1987, it's not worn out. Now it's working fine. I, I fixed this up to perfect condition. So yeah, no tape eating problems or anything. No slipping belts and everything. So yeah, that is it for this video. So please like, comment, subscribe, and be kind, and rewind!